Welcome Jeremy from Flight Masters. He'll be giving us an introduction about the birds. Alright. So good afternoon everyone, my name is Jeremy and today I'll be sharing with you some interesting facts and information I know about parrots, okay? So on my hand, on stage with me, I have with me two birds. These are cockatoos. Cockatoos, they are beautiful birds which can be identified by the crest on their heads. Can you see it? So on my hand, I have with me Aries and over there, that's Spaki, a Molokan cockatoo. Cockatoos like Spaki can be found in Indonesia while Cockatoos like Aries can be found in Australia and certain parts of Indonesia. Parrots, they have the ability to mimic and copy human sounds and Aries here is learning to say hello. And if she does, let's give her a warm round of applause, okay? Aries, would you say hello? Say hello. Say hello. She's very shy. Why not you guys say hello first? Say hi, Aries. Aries, would you say hello? Did you hear that? What a sweet hello from Aries. Okay, so, oh, looks like we have more birds and they are Eglectus parrots. Yes, Eglectus parrots. <laughs> yeah, you can use Okay. So the next two birds, these are Eglectus parrots and they can be differentiated by their color. The males are green in color and the females are red in color. They are the only parrot species which are identified by their color, unlike other parrot species which are only identified by <laughs> DNA sexing, okay? So our blur here, this is blur. He is a rehomed parrot by your fellow colleague, Sandra. She's been taking care of the parrot for how long? For probably a month now and he used to have uh, feather plucking conditions and now he's un under great care and is growing really well. So before you get yourself a pet parrot, do think twice because parrots, they need lots of commitment and responsibility. We look, now we have macaws from South America. Guys, bring the macaws up. So macaws, they can be found in the jungles and rainforests of South America. They have many different colors, different species. So let me tell you more about them, all right? Okay. Over here, I have me, Jonathan, with a scarlet macaw. Can you tell him your scarlet macaw's name? Lycan. Lycan is his name. So scarlet macaws, how old is he right now? Three months. Three months. They can be distinguished by their colors, coloration of their feathers. Red, yellow, green, and blue. So over here, I have with me a blue and gold macaw with Sashi. Sashi, what is his name? It's Romy. His name is Romy. And how, do, how old is he right now? I'm so. It's eight months old right now. Blue and gold macaws is, is pretty pretty much uh, obvious because as you can see, blue and gold makes up their feathers. And then over here I have with me, Sandra, uh, you have Sumo with you, right? So this is Sumo. Sumo here is a green winged macaw. Green winged macaws, as you can see from the feather coloration, red and green with a little bit of blue. And we have also a smaller species of Macaw, and this is one of the smaller species, and this is a Hans macaw. What is his name? Xiao Han is his name, and how old is he right now? He's three years old. Uh, the Hans macaw, where can they be found? South America too, right? <laughs> okay, she's shy. Okay, anyway, let's give them a big round of applause. Thank you. Okay, so the next bird I have with me is Oscar. Oscar here is a green winged macaw and he's going to impress us with some tricks. Macaws are well known for their flexibility, agility and maneuverability and not forgetting their intelligence. So just a moment while we get a perch for Oscar so he can show us some tricks. Can someone guess how old is Oscar? <laughs> okay, just a moment. his wing anyone can guess the wings uh, estimate the wingspan is about approximately a meter wide Oscar would you show your wing 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 okay, just a moment while my friend gets a perch for us okay thank you Daniel <laughs> 
So before we start, Oscar, would you just wave hello? Would you wave hello? <laughs> Oscar, can you wave hello? He's saying hi everyone. Okay, before he shows us how flexible he is, he has to do some warm-up exercises. So for the first exercise, turning in circles. One more time. One more time. Big hand for Oscar. And he needs to stretch his wings too. So Oscar, would you show them your wing wing? One more time. Wing wing. One last time for the crowd. Wing wing. Good. Bad. So I'm going to show you how flexible Oscar is in just four steps. Oscar. So the first step. Okay, just let me finish his reward there. The first step. Hanging like a bat. Second step, his head between his legs. Hanging on one foot and up. A big round of applause for Oscar. You guys want to see that one more time, yes? Okay. Let him finish his feet first. So, Oscar, are you ready? First step, hanging like a bat. Second step, his head between his legs. Hanging on one foot and coming up. Lastly, a big round of applause for Oscar again. So today, I'm going to pretend to shoot Oscar and let's see what, what will he do. I'm going to place him on the floor right here. Oh, he's scared of the stage, probably too hot right here. Just a moment. Oscar, bang. Hey, where are you going? Oscar, bang. Hmm. Maybe he's a little shy. Oscar, bang. Ah, he doesn't want to. Maybe let's give him some encouragement. A big hand first. Okay, let me try that again. Oscar, where are you going? Oscar, bang. Hey, that's not nice it's obvious. Okay, it's okay. Just one last try for him. Maybe he's afraid of the mic. It's okay, he doesn't want to, but now I would need a volunteer to pick for me. Okay, well, how about you young man? You're really fast. Come up. Okay, so on my hand, I have with me three nuts. I have a walnut, a hazelnut, and a Brazil nut. So, I need you to feel which is the hardest nut, okay? The hazelnut, that's right. And this is Oscar's favorite treat. Can I have the pill? Thank you, Daniel. So today, Oscar, parrots, they have strong beaks. And they can, they, can, they can be gentle at times too, okay? So I will need you to count how long would Oscar take to crack the nut, okay? So I'm not going to give it to him just like that. I've placed the hazelnut in the pail right here. And let's see how Oscar gets to the pail. Oh, he pulls the pail up using his toes with the support of his beak. And he gets his... Yeah, I think I hate and he gets his well-deserved reward. So how long does it take, okay? One second, two seconds, seconds. Four seconds. About seven seconds. So, um, Oscar, he takes about seven seconds. So they have strong beaks. They can be gentle at times. And, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to try to get Oscar to 
play it again. Is that alright? So let's let him finish as well. Just say thank you, young man. You can have that. You can have both of these. <laughs> Oscar, come. Oscar, are you ready? There's no fits in there. Come. Daniel, could you help me here? All right, come here, Oscar. Okay, so I'm gonna try this one last time. Oscar. Oscar. Hey. <laughs> no, that's not nice of you. No shortcuts then. Okay? Oscar, back. Okay, he's really shy today, so let's just skip there. Anyway, parrots, they are very loving, sociable, and they make wonderful pets. But, they, oh, okay. You must be tired, right? Oscar, are you tired? Are you tired? Yawn. No, he's yawning. Yawn. Yawn. Okay, I guess he's tired. That's why he doesn't want to do the bang trip. Anyway, they make great pets. But be before you get yourself one, do think twice. Because they need lots of commitment and responsibility. So, um, in a short while, we'll be having a free flying session right back there in the big area. So, you're more than welcome to join us. With that, I've come to the end of my short presentation. Thank you and goodbye.